If you want to buy cheap, reliable NBA 2K19 MT, please go to DVDJ.com, use the code CRUSH, and if you're not familiar with the process, you can contact them on Twitter. Both links will be in the description. What is good, YouTube, and welcome back to a brand new video. The upload streak ended, well, it ended today, technically, but uh, you guys are going to see this video tomorrow on the 16th, so uh, yeah, I got home and just went to sleep. I slept 12 hours straight. I was your boy was super tired man i just had to get some sleep so sorry for missing an upload yesterday i mean i've been kind of uploading every day so and uh today i kind of wanted to go off for subscriber suggestion i think his name is lavar cole uh but he suggested i do a hawks rebuild uh trying to make the warriors 2.0 because everybody's been saying ever since the how the hawks drafted that this was kind of looking like the warriors 2.0 i was down with it and plus the hawks realistic rebuild that i did it got really rushed because when the first video I made, it kind of, it, it just didn't very go go very well. It just uh, kind of corrupted. The audio didn't work. So this, then I kind of uploaded like a one seat rebuild. So it was kind of ugly. So guys, I'm going to be updating this rebuild today. So let's go ahead and get started. Here are the player stats. Let's go look at these real quick. Player stats. We got Trey Young with 20 points per game. John Collins with 18 and a half and nine points. Kent Blazemore with 12 and a half. Green Prince with uh, 12, not too shabby. So let's go ahead and jump right into the draft lottery where we should get a uh, decent couple a decent couple of draft picks. We got the first pick overall, and we got the eighth pick. Wow, was not expecting to get the first pick overall. I think Lloyd Pierce is a pretty good head coach for what we're wanting, so I'll leave him, and I'm going to get this guy for our assistant GM. Or, yeah, assistant GM. Our head scouts... Uh, let's view candidates. Let's see if there's anyone. Um, yeah, let's try to get that guy. Let's fire this guy. Let's try to get one of these guys. Hopefully, we can get one of them. And we do. Okay, awesome. Trainer. We got a better trainer out here. B. Ooh. Let's fire this guy as well. Let's go for Noah Foster. Is that what his name is? Nicholas Foster. Moling. Uh, offense and defense. That doesn't matter though, right? Signing. Okay, cool. So, uh, kind of updated our staff a little bit. Not too bad, not too shabby. So, for the NBA draft, let's go see what we got. So, we got the first pick, eighth pick, three second rounder picks. So, basically, when I think about building the Warriors 2.0, I think of draft, right? They drafted Clay, they drafted Curry, drafted Draymond Green. So, we basically got to build through the draft in this video, and that's my plan. So, first pick overall, kind of obvious here, but uh, you might think I'm crazy here, but I might actually uh well did i draft zion did i trade back because like when i think about it omari spellman could eventually be the starting power forward maybe he's not ready for that yet john collins could be the starting center and zion could start at the power forward or zion could even start at the small forward uh, i don't know what he's probably more shaped to be let's go look at how tall he is he is six is he he's only six seven so he could play small forward um obviously zion i think is the pick here we could go rj barrett but i mean the fact that zion is here i don't think i can pass on that so i'm gonna go with zion williamson at number one overall of course out of duke and let's send to next user pick building through the draft is what i'm good at and uh we can Cam cameron reddish is here oh y'all y'all messed up by giving me zion and cameron reddish that is that is not good at all. So we're gonna keep drafting here. Well, now we got a second, uh, second, um, our second round pick. We got Robert Franks, Lucas Amanis, Jonte Porter. I'm gonna take Jonte Porter here, and then we'll keep. We're gonna keep drafting, guys. So, um, and now we got Goga Pit. Uh, I don't know how to say his name properly, so I'm not gonna try. Isaiah Roby, uh, Luca. I'm probably gonna just gonna take Luca. And I'm going to let them draft the rest. So we'll do with that. So Cameron Reddish and Zion Williamson out of this draft. Uh, that is pretty darn good if you ask me. So let's sign uh, all of these guys. Uh, besides these two. I probably won't worry about our second round picks. Uh, or two of our second round picks. We'll probably just deal with this. Yeah, we'll deal with these three. So let's sign all those guys up. John Collins. Obviously going to bring him back. To, uh, DeAndre Bembry um he's cheap i might as well bring him back maybe could use him in a trade package or something so let's sign him and then for qualifying offers don't need justin anderson back at all that would be kind of dumb to go get him and 14.64 million in cap space and when we renounce all these guys hopefully um 
We need 33 million, so which isn't too bad, not too shabby. We still have Kent Bazemore's awful contract, but that's okay. Uh, like I said, uh, Zion Williamson, I don't know if he goes up at small forward, but he goes up to an 86 overall. So I'm probably going to move him to the small forward. And then Cameron Reddish, I think I had him as a six man in one of my videos, and he did pretty good there. I kind of want Kevin Herter to be a starter. So we don't, with Tareem Prince is our backup small forward, but there has been rumors that they've been looking to trade him. So I might actually do that in this video. So Cameron Reddish, he goes up to a 78 overall. So we don't need Prince or Bembry. If I'm Mari Spellman, Alex Lynn is still here. And Jonte Porter is probably going to head to the G League. We still have Miles Plumley's awful contract too. So this is looking pretty good. So not too bad, not too shabby. So uh, Terrain Prince probably going to be included in the trade package right now. So let's do that. Terrain Prince and uh, let's go with, uh, let's attach Camp Bazemore's awful contract. Let's see if anybody was willing to take on Terrain Prince and Camp Bazemore potentially. We can get Tristan Thompson. We can get Montrose Harrell, Taylor Parsons. Frank Nilakina, Mitchell Robinson, uh, Evan Fournier, Joe Harris, Will Barton, Okafor, Stephen Adams, Zach Cohen, Zare Smith, and James Ennis. Uh, none of these trades make a ton of sense to me, I don't think. Uh, Tareem Prince, though, does need to get out of here, I think. Because, I mean, we're just kind of wasting his minutes. So, if I could maybe... I'll let Kit Bazemore just stay here for a while. So, if I get like a first or second for Prince and maybe even dump Miles Plumley's contract... Uh, I mean, we don't necessarily need to dump it, though. Montrose Harrell. Like I said, I'm trying to be as realistic as possible. Um, let's just get a first pick, first overall pick for Turin Prince or something. So let's do that. Let's try to get a first rounder for Turin Prince. So let's just uh, attach him here. 25 years old. Pretty solid player. So I think we could get a late first round pick from somebody that could use a 3 and D kind of guy. Uh, the Grizzlies, I think, makes sense. They would be willing to... Give us maybe, wow, they, they don't have any money to take this guy, CJ Miles, uh, Javon Carter. And we take CJ Miles' contract from them. Would they do this? We get an unprotected Memphis pick. Memphis is usually pretty bad, so this could even turn into a lottery pick. Uh, they, are, they are not interested, though. How about if we uh, attach, no, I'm just kidding. They won't do that. What if we attach two second round picks? What about this? They still don't want to do it, so we'll go to another team. Let's see, what is another team that could use this guy? Blazers, I know, could maybe use him. The Timberwolves, possibly. Let's try for the Timberwolves. They can't even take him either. Get Sarge. What about Kia Bates Diop? They want to, okay, so I need about a $2 million player from them. Josh Okogi, I'll even take him. Prince for a first round pick. They still don't want to do it. How about two second round picks? Still don't want to do it. So no one wants to give me their unprotected pick for. All right, we're probably going to have to trade him to a contender that's not going to care as much about their pick. Um, the Knicks. No, I'm just kidding. They're not really contenders yet. Mavericks. The Mavericks I could see being aggressive, maybe. Unprotected. So we can get Prince, two second round picks. I don't want to do it. What about a, one more second round pick? They still don't want to do it. I'm trying to get a first round pick for Turing Prince. It's not working. So let me just find the trade finder. Let's see if we can get him. Just get him out of here for something else. He's a restricted free agent. So like... He should, he should, like, I just want some picks for him. A first round pick from the Knicks. I don't want Mitchell Rob. Well, I do want Mitchell Robinson. Don't get me wrong. I just don't think the Knicks uh, would trade Mitchell Robinson. I think he's a very big diamond in the rough. The lottery, the Spurs will give me a lottery protected pick and we get Yaka Pirtle. Uh, that's not a bad return and the Warriors will take him, but it's a top three protected 2021 pick. Um, And we get Damian Jones. You know what? I think I'm down with this one. Turing Prince. Damian Jones, first round, unprotected, or top three protected. I mean, obviously, I think that pick is going to come to us. They usually aren't that bad. So, that is good. So, we did get rid of Turin Prince. We took on Damian Jones, which, you know, not a big L there. But uh, we got Alex Lynn as our center for now. Amari Spellman, John Collins. So, we got, I think Amari Spellman will probably go to the G League. John Tate Porter will probably head to the G League. So, we need a backup point guard and a backup power forward so let's look for that and maybe even a starting center maybe i don't know we'll see so let's see what we got out here so vucevic marcus cousins deandre jordan in his cancer willie college stein bill mcgee brooke lopez i probably let alex lynn just do his thing for this because there's a centers there's a let's go for a backup power forward off the bench maybe like uh a young maybe we could even give jabari parker a chance off the bench 
Now, he hasn't been very good with... Uh, I think the Wizards, though, he's been decent with. Noah Vonley. I give Jabari Parker a one-year deal to come maybe be decent. Um, I'll give him 16.45. Why not? I mean, it's not going to lose anything. A point guard, we can go for, like, uh, maybe... Let's see. Alfred Payton. Jen McConnell. Going on right. We need someone that's just going to come in and do dirty work, basically. I think TJ McConnell fits that bill pretty good. So let's go with TJ McConnell. Let's even get both of those guys. Jabari and TJ, I think those are decent signings. They're not the, you know, they're not outstanding, but they're not ones that are going to hurt us in the future either. So we got 15.60 mil left still. Trey Young, TJ McConnell, Kim Bazemore, Kevin Herter, Zion, Kevin Reddish, DeAndre Bimry still here, John Collins, Jabari Parker, Mars Bellman, Alex Lynn, and uh, John Tape or Damian Jones. So. Really not a bad rotation. It's not uh, playoff caliber yet, but guys, don't even worry about it because eventually we're going to look like the Golden State Warriors 2.0 with Zion Williamson. Zion will just be better than Harrison Barnes. That's all. I'll probably send Zion to un uh, to uh, perimeter shooting. So I'll probably do that. But guys, I will be back. Let's see how this team does this first season. I wouldn't be shocked if we made the playoffs just because we have Zion on the roster now, so we'll see what happens. The year obviously goes to Zion Williamson, 19 and a half points, seven rebounds, four assists, two steals, and two blocks. So not too bad for Zion. Sixth man of the year goes to Dennis Schroeder. Dennis defensive goes to Giannis. And most improved goes to John Collins. I was not expecting that, but he 15 and 12. No blocks, 35% from three and 58% from the field, which is pretty darn good, and one steal a game. So not bad at all, but uh, all NBA second team, all NBA third team, 87 year old Baral Zion Williamson, of course, makes all NBA third team, all defensive first team, and all defensive second team. So, not too bad, but we did end up making the playoffs going 51 and 31. Um, probably not gonna happen next year, but you know what? It is an improvement. We got 22 points from Trey Young, and about seven assists, two turnovers. We got 19 and a half for Zion Williamson, 15 points for John Collins, Cameron Rush with 13 off the bench. Bar Park actually didn't do too bad. 12 and a half, you know, about five rebounds. And uh, probably gave up a lot of points. But, you know, Kevin Herter is saying Alex Lynn, Kent Blazemore, TJ McConnell did his thing like I asked. And then we got Mari Spellman and Jonte Porter coming back from the G League next year to help us even out. So let's see how these playoff series go. We're uh, facing the 41 and 41 Chicago Bulls. Up 2-0 to start. Up 3-0. Are we going to sweep the Bulls? We don't sweep. But we are going to win in five games, which isn't too bad. And now we're either going to face Detroit or Toronto. And we face Toronto. They're probably going to eliminate us here. But, you know, Zion Williamson, anything is possible. So 2-0. 3-0. Are we going to sweep the first seed of Toronto Raptors? We just swept the Toronto Raptors. Zion Williamson is a cheat code, guys. Honestly. Boston, he landed the number one overall pick. There was no way I was going to pass on drafting him. So we're up 1-0 to start this series. We're up 2-0. Are we going to sweep Boston, too? Zion is not that good. Let's be careful about that, 2K. Now we're facing the Denver Nuggets. Are we really going to win a championship right now? 2-1, 2-2, 3-2. Wow. We won a championship in seven games. That is ridiculous. Zion Williamson did his thing. Wow. Okay, so this team can only get better, right? So I have all the money in the world to make this team better. And uh, wow. Okay, so we're not expecting to win a championship. Uh, we didn't get, like I said, if we could have gotten the Grizzlies pick, it would have been the eighth overall pick. Uh, but uh, you win some, you lose some. And we're obviously, we're not going to get the worst pick for a while. Staff signing, we still want all of our staff. We did pretty good with this staff, so no need to change it. And then Trade Finder, because we got a first round pick and the 30th pick overall from the uh, hot or our pick. And then we got the Cavaliers pick as well. DJ McConnell. Uh, so I'm going to let the computer just draft because, I mean, what, what do we got to do in the draft? Dotson and Aaron Wiggins. We'll take both of them. Player options, we're going to accept everybody, of course. Like everybody coming back. Morale is, uh, Omar Spellman is ecstatic. And Kevin Herter, awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. So bring all those guys back, of course. Qualifying offers, Damian Jones and DeAndre Bembry. I might look into bringing Damian Jones back. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. So, dark cap table, negative 15.89. But that is because of Ken Bazemore, Miles Plumley, Lynn is a free agent, Damian Jones... Uh, we can renounce DeAndre Bembry. We probably renounce Jabari Parker. We have 63.27. Actually, we probably can renounce Damian Jones too because with 67.88 mil, that is a lot of money to do a lot of things with. So let's see what we got. So we got Kevin Herter, Aaron Wiggins. We don't have Kent Bazemore like we did last year, so we could probably sign a backup shooting guard. 
Dion and Reddish are fine. Collins and Porter, or Collins and Spellman and Jonte Porter is probably going to step up in that center role. We could probably sign a good backup shooting guard, or maybe in a starting shooting guard and a backup uh, center. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's go for that. Shooting guards. Buddy Heal. We could even bring Buddy freaking Heal here, dude. That would be ridiculous. Tyreek Evans. But, in my opinion, we probably shouldn't go for superstars i don't think like just guys that can shoot like bryn forbes off the bench i think would be great so let's go for them uh because we already have enough scores here i don't think we need to get buddy healed to come score the ball uh, let's get eight uh bryn forbes over two years i'll be down with that and then either go for a starting center or a backup center um the bonus we got mason Plumley, hernan gomez willie selena gomez yaka pearl thomas bryant goga uh, what's uh, I, I don't know how to say his name yet could just bring back alex lynn i think he did all right d plus um let's go for i don't think i need to sign superstar so let's go for thomas Bryant. let's go for alex lynn i know it's a boring uh signing but you know alex lynn you know, he's not he didn't do too bad so i like him bringing alex lynn here and Bryn forbes yeah i know they're not ex they're like great signings but we just won a championship, so it's not like I need to go out here and be aggressive. I think adding Buddy Heald would just make this team a little too overstacked, and probably the chemistry wouldn't all be there. Plus, I want to see Kevin Herter start. He did last year, I think. So, uh, yeah, and then Zion, like I said, we have enough scores here as it is, and John C. Porter probably being a lot, probably bring quite a bit to the table as well. So, really like those signings. I don't think we need to do anything else, really. I'm going to go ahead and see how this team looks after this damian jones even comes back so even better there zion up to an 89 trey young up three wow man this team is looking pretty darn scary if you ask me so let's go to training camps see how this team does i really like how this team is looking not a whole lot of moves but i mean those are the kind of the most fun rebuilds when i don't feel like i have to do like a ton to make this team really good once you draft zion you should be good guys so if you're ever trying to rebuild a team on 2k Grab Zion, you should be all right. So uh, let's go for untapped potential. On uh, let's go for let's go for Amari Spellman. Let's go for Jonte Porter as well, and we should be good. Or we want to get John Collins potential up. Let's go. Yeah, let's go for John Collins potential. Get even better, up to an A. Let's do that. All right, that should be good. Now when we look at the roster. This should this roster should be looking pretty darn scary if you ask me so let's look at it let's look at the nightmare rotation that we got we got uh we have Trey young kevin herter zion williamson john collins john Tay porter Cameron radish off the bench amari spellman off the bench alex Lynn off the bench and we're gonna go wow go for bryn forbes off the bench i think i think like bryn forbes coming off the bench the most so let's do that we are very stacked uh depth though depth wise though we are pretty stacked so i like this team a lot i mean Look at this, man, guys. This is scary. What are you going to do when Trey Young comes up on the court? Looking like Steph Curry out there. About to pull up on you. What are you going to do when Zion Wimpson just wants to run you into the paint and dunk on you, dude? Kevin Herter is going to stretch out the four, uh, floor. John Collins does his thing down low, and he can even uh, stretch the floor as well. Dante Porter, I don't know not much about. Cameron Radish off the bench is going to be good. Alex Lynn doesn't want to show us face. Very good. I like this rotation a lot. I think we should uh, probably make playoffs once again. And maybe even go for another championship. So I'm going to turn trades off. Similar to the end of the season. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we're back in the playoffs. Coach of the year goes to Lloyd Pierce. Awesome stuff. 54 and 28. Man, we're trying to get that second championship in a row here. All-NBA first team. All-rookie first team. We got Jonte Porter making it. Can we get an Amari Spellman appearance? Doesn't look like we can. What about all defensive first team on here? Uh, no. And then Zion makes all-NBA second team, of course. So now whoa i looked over on the eastern conference side of things and i saw denver over here and they did that first through 16th i didn't even i forgot i didn't reject the rules but you know what this is actually pretty cool i'm not gonna lie first we're facing detroit wow that's actually kind of neat i'm not gonna lie that's uh it's pretty cool would you guys like to see this? Would you guys like to see first through 16? Let me know. I, I didn't even notice that they did this, but that was kind of cool. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate this first round against Detroit. We're facing the bottom uh, 16th team in the playoffs. So 
I think we should be able to get by, and now we're going to beat Detroit in, uh, let's go, in four games. So now we're going to face Toronto, or Brooklyn, and beat Toronto last year. We actually swept them, so expecting we should be able to do it again. We're up 2-0. Hey, let me show you guys the player stats real quick. I forgot to do that, so let's do that. Player stats, um, 24.5 for Trey Young, 22 for Zion Williamson, 16 for Cam Reddish off the bench, John Collins with 12, Kevin Hurt, very good stuff, man. Very good stuff from everybody. Alex Lynn did his thing off the bench as well. Mari Spellman did his thing. Brent Forbes did his thing. So, liking this team a lot. Up 3-0. And no, not, not a sweep. This time we did beat them in five games. We either are going to face the 10 or the second seeded Minnes or Denver Nuggets or the 11 seeded Minnesota Timberwolves if we're able to beat the fourth seeded Houston Rockets. So, don't sleep. 1-0, uh, 2-0. Have we met our match? We're down 3-0. Well, okay, we get beaten five games. So, we... We met our match. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and see who wins the championship. 2-1, 2-2, 3-2, and the Nuggets win the championship. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely smash that like button if you enjoyed. And subscribe if you haven't already. This is Crushables, and I'm saying peace.